Hi and welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a little cat head. Looks like a little cat. This one's really ugly because when I practice I use my least desirable ribbon and I use my old leftover gold ribbon from Christmas. But um, it's just a plain old gold. But hopefully we're going to make a cuter one with the whatever print that is the wild animal print okay so this is a request a lady asked me to make a kitty cat because her daughter loves them so I hope your daughter likes my version um, it's hard to make a cat it's not easy it's not easy to make it look like a um, cat and not a lion or a tiger or something but anyway I hope y'all can see and don't need reading glasses and if you do you got some good strong ones because working with these little bitty pieces right here is not easy I hope I can do it working around the camera. We'll see. Anyway, here is your supply list. You're going to need 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon in whatever colors you want your kitten to be. Okay, you're going to need 2 inch long pieces. You need 8 of them, and that's going to be the head. All this, this head part right here, okay? So whatever colors you're going to use. You need 4 one and a half inch pieces, and you're going to need them in two colors, one for the outer ear, one for the inner ear, however you want it to um, match up. Okay, then you're going to need one and a half inch pieces times two for the whiskers and the mouth. And I originally did one inch, in fact I think these are one inch. I'll have to switch them out with one and a half inch here in a minute. But I think it's better to have longer whiskers and then you can trim them down to however long you want than to have too short a whisker. So I changed it to one and a half inches. We're going to do that. And then miscellaneous, you're going to need a bow, however you want your bow to match the thing, the kitty cat. A pair of Google eyes. I recommend getting bigger Google eyes than I've got. I don't know. If you like the small eyes on your kitty cat, that's fine, but I think if they had bigger eyes it would look cuter. Like, I don't know, just, I think it would look cuter if you had bigger Google eyes. But whatever you think looks cute, okay? And then you're going to need a small pom-pom for the nose. I just have a little black pom-pom right there. And if you don't have any pom-poms and you still want to make this, I will show you how to make a round ball out of just plain 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon. Here in a minute. But anyway, I've already done some of the steps here to get you started so this video doesn't last too long. But there's your supply list. Okay. So, I'm going to start, and you're going to need eight pieces that are two inches long, like this for the head. And what you're going to do is you're going to take them and um, heat seal the ends. Got to have a source of fire to heat seal those ends of everything. All right, and then just fold it in half like this. Match up your two ends. I mean, it's not even really going to matter if you crease it. You don't want to like intentionally crease it, but if you accidentally do it, it's no big deal. So just fold it in half like that, and then take your scissors and cut inward and then upward to make the points. And if you don't want to fold it in half, if you just want to do it at both each end separately, that's fine too. However you want to do it. But to save time you can fold it in half. Didn't quite get it cut right so I'm going to trim it up here. Make it look a little better. Okay. Now after you cut them like that then you're going to heat seal but you got to do it quickly otherwise you'll curl your little ends. Which it doesn't really matter if you do or not. You just straighten them back out without burning yourself. Okay. Just heat seal, make sure you get it all the way into the V. Okay? Then after you heat seal all eight of them, all right, you're going to glue them in these little cross shapes. Just two, four, six, and this is eight. So I'm just going to take, put a little glue in the center. And then just lay it on there and straighten it up get it centered before the glue sets really quick okay 
Now out of those eight strips you'll now have four crosses. So you want to take one and turn it sideways into an X and one remains across and you glue it on top. We're just going to layer these. Okay. So you just glue it right here in the center. And then lay it on top. Like that. Just glue that together. Do the same thing with the other one. These glue strings are driving me crazy. Alright, and then once you've got two of those, then you just layer them together, kind of off-center, just to fill in all the rest of the spaces. So you have one piece with no spaces all the way around. Okay, just going to glue it like that. And then that's the head, basically. Get all the glue strings away. The whole project goes right out on the floor. Okay. Now you find the best point on it. Um, I like to make it with a up and down T right here. And then the X that's right behind it. Okay. That way... Um, when we put the ears on, you can just put them right inside these two right here, and they'll be even. So we got a point going straight up. That's the way this is going to be the top of the head. Okay, so we're going to put that aside for right now and make the ears. So to make the ears, they're just awareness folds. Okay, um, you're going to want to fold them with like that. Okay, your print facing upward take it around like that so your prints up here on top if you're using a print if you're not using a print it won't matter so you just do an awareness fold and get it however big you want it get some glue in there Okay, then you take the other piece, do another awareness fold. You might want to tighten it a little bit tighter on this one because this one's going to nest inside of that one. I have massive amounts of glue string stuck to my fingernails. <laughs> okay, now that you got that, you just nest it right inside like that and glue it down. So you take it and just mesh them right together. Okay, put some glue back there. And that's how you make the ears. You're going to want to do that with two of them. I've already done one. Helps speed things along here. Okay. Now, let's put the ears on. Okay. So like I said, you've got an upward and a downward right on top. A T. And the one underneath it is the X. So you just take and pull that X forward. You can fold back the others so that you can see it. Now, take put a little bit of glue right there on that one 
and then slide an ear down on it. And glue that ear on. And then do the same thing with your other X and it, or your other spike in the back back there. It's part of that X. Now that should put the ears on nice and even right there. Okay. And um, this is kind of blending together because of the print. I'm sorry about that. I thought it would be cute. Hopefully it will when we're finished. Right now, it's just kind of hard. I hate working with black with y'all's tutorials because it's so hard to show up on camera. This is the only animal print material I had. Anyway, you're getting the idea. So now we got the ears on. All right. Now let's put the whiskers on. Okay. And your whiskers are basically just going to be right down um, at the bottom of this right here. Your T comes down. You've got your center point. Just put it right toward the bottom of your center point. I mean, you wouldn't want to put them down here, but put it right toward the bottom because our nose is going to try to go about even right there and then the eyes depending on how big your Google eyes are you know you'll have to decide where you want to put the face but to make the whiskers you take and I was gonna do one and a half inch pieces let's do that real fast Never forget to heat seal anything that you do. Okay. Now, with grow grain ribbon, if you look at it really closely, it's got stripes that go up and down, but along the edge, there is a um, edge to it right there. We're just going to cut that edge off really thin to make some whiskers. Okay, so you just take and cut right along that edge to cut off. That thin little strip is what we want right there. And you do the same thing on the other side of the ribbon. Just cut off the edges to make the thin strips. Do the same thing over here on this side. Cut it off really skinny. Okay. Now we've got four little skinny pieces, and you, yes, you do have to heat seal them. You have to do it very quickly. Take some tweezers so you don't burn yourself. Hold your ribbon in there, and then very quickly get in there and heat seal that. Just run it right across. It doesn't take much. It starts to curl. That's okay. Usually it tries to curl right on the very end, and since we made them so long, you can always trim it off. That's another reason I made it a little bit longer for you in this tutorial. Okay. Now that they're heat sealed, you're going to want to take and put them on there. My goodness, I chose the total wrong colors to show you all how to do stuff, didn't I? Okay. Well, we can do it this way. Instead of putting them straight on there, just take one that's going straight across. All right, put a dab of glue in the middle of it. Put another one at an angle. Oh, 
that. Okay, and then another one at an upward angle. Like that. And I'm going to stop at these three whiskers. We made a spare just in case we messed one up. Fortunately, this time I didn't mess one up. But I do have some fraying going on here. I didn't get quite good heat seal good enough. It's okay. You just go right back over it quickly. Okay. And then there's your whiskers. All right. I told y'all we were going to be working with little bitty stuff. Stick some freeing go in there. Do not burn your finger. Oops. Curled the ribbon. Oh well. And then you put that on there to make your whiskers. Like that. And it looks like you can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to pick it up. Put a little bit of glue right there. Like I said, toward the bottom of that middle ribbon. And just lay it right on top. And press it in. Okay. Now, you would take your pom pom if you have one. And we're going to put it right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the pom pom in here. But I'll show you how to make it around the um, nose with just 3 8 inch grip grain ribbon. So just put the nose in there. A little glue. A little glue sticks everything, including your fingers. Just pull out your extras. And when y'all finish with a project, if you've got glue strings and stuff, just run a hair dryer over the top of your project. Just hold it and run a hair dryer on hot over the top of it, and it'll melt any stray glue right off of there. Okay. See, I got some on the nose right there. Really don't want to do it with the fire because I don't know how that material the nose is made out of will react if it catches on fire. But yeah, that faded it off. Good. Okay, so now we got the nose and some whiskers. Alright, and let me show you really quick how to make the nose with just plain ribbon. You just take your plain ribbon here, okay, and you don't have to heat seal anything because you're just going to tie a knot and cut it off anyway. So you just tie a knot as close to the edge as possible so you don't have to um, waste a lot of ribbon. And pull it tight, you know get it and see how it's flat like that okay and just cut it off and then heat seal that that edge that I just cut off like that and kind of pinch it up so that it stays and then do the same thing over here pull your knot down flat cut it off then you would heat seal that side and just cut it off Okay, and see how flat it is? Okay, you take this top part right here, alright, and um, this is the back part where the actual knot is um, showing, and you just take your fingernail and push in right there and pinch that whole thing in half. Put a little glue in there, and without burning yourself, pinch it, and keep on pinching it as tight as you can pinch it before that glue dries, and then let that glue dry. And then when that glue dries, now it's it's a ball. It's more of a ball. See? And you would use that for the nose. But i got 20 seconds on the clock here, so I'm going to turn this camera off, let it cool down, and I'll be right back to finish off. But there's how you make a little ball with a ribbon. And if you got some glue on the back, you can uh, don't melt it off because you'll open up your ribbon again. Cut it off. Okay? Be right back. Okay, we're back. And I haven't done anything. 
since I showed you how to make the little ball out of ribbon, that that's if you wanted to not use a pom-pom. Anyway, I've already used a pom-pom. So now let's make the mouth. The mouth is probably the hardest part. You don't have to make the mouth if you don't want to. You could leave it just like this, put some eyes on it in the bow. In fact, why don't we go ahead and do that, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like without the mouth. So if you don't want to do it, like I said, get some bigger Google eyes than I've got here. I wish I had some bigger ones, but I'm just going to size up where I want to put them on here. Okay, that looks good. Just right on the sides of that middle ribbon. A little bit of glue. Put the eyeball down on there. Same thing here. And if the eyes were bigger, it would be so much cuter. I wish I had bigger eyes. But anyway, there's a cat without a mouth. If you want to stop there. It's kind of a funny looking cat. And when you put the bow on, you want to decide if you want it to go over one ear. Or between the ears. Right there, or over that ear. It depends on where you want to put it. It's up to you. So let's finish it off with a mouth. Mouth. This is where the hard part's going to happen. Okay, now that piece of edge that we did earlier that we didn't use, okay, if you didn't mess it up, you can go ahead and use it. Make sure it's heat sealed really well. Okay, now just measure down how far you should cut it off. Just put it on there. I'm just going to cut off about a thumbnail's worth right there. Okay, That's so tiny you really don't have to heat seal that because that's where the... I'm going to stick it in the glue anyway. Very small amount of glue right there. that up and lay it in there straight in the middle of that ribbon. Okay. If it's too long, which it is, just get up underneath it with some scissors and trim it off. Alright. Could stop there also with the mouth. To me it looks like there's a spider on his face. So I'm going to go ahead and put the V parts upward like that. So just take this and start it. That ribbon just doesn't want a heat seal. Just fold it in half. Like I said, I'm recycling that piece. If you messed up a piece whenever we did, you did the whiskers, just make another one of these. Those edges. it right there. Tiny bit of glue. And these, yes, these are way too long. I'm just going to trim them to size here in a minute. Extra glue off of there. Another bit of glue on this side. Just tie it in right there at the bottom. In an upward V shape. Alright. And now he's got a mouth. If you want the big smile like that, that's fine. You could trim it down. Just 
smaller. Careful not to trim your whiskers off if you've got them the right size. So there's the cat with his full face. Okay. And decide where you want to put your bow. Okay. If you want it on one ear or straight up and down. On this little girl, I'm going to put it straight up and down. And this is just a simple bow. I've showed y'all how to make these before. You take four inches of ribbon, do an awareness fold, pinch it in an alligator clip, and tie a string around the middle of it. And then tie it off. And there's a kitty cat with a bow. Um, put it on a lined alligator clip. Trim your whiskers to however you want them. And give it to your little girl. And you can do this in all kinds of colors. Whatever, however you want to make it. Um, if you want to make the lips bigger ribbon. Like that's a little fatter than the whiskers because I messed up my third whisker. I would probably put the whiskers a little closer together than what I did when I showed y'all how to do it in my hand. If you do it right on the ribbon you can get them closer. But thank you for watching and I hope y'all enjoyed this. I will be having more ribbon sculptures coming soon. Thank you. Y'all have a great day.